Hi, my name is Pastor Harris Kakalides, and today I'm going to talk about a tough subject, which is revenge. Why we should leave as Christians the revenge to God. First of all, the scripture tells us so. In Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18 says, You shall not take vengeance nor bear any grudge against the children of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Deuteronomy 32 verse 35 says, Vengeance is mine and recompense. Their foot shall slip in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things to come hasten upon them. First of all, vengeance belongs to God. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the one you serve. Proverbs 24 verse 29 says, Do not say, I will do to him just as he has done to me. I will render to the man according to his work. The Bible says, don't even say it. Romans 12 verse 17 says, Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. Hebrews 10 verse 30, For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. And again, the Lord will judge his people. God is the one that takes vengeance. For the Christian believer, not you. God is the one who will fight your battles. Let's go to Romans chapter 12 verse 19. Let's see what it says. We're going to read verses 19 to verses 21. Beloved, do not avenge yourself. Rather, give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him to drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. How do you overcome evil? By doing good. By doing the things which the devil doesn't want you to do. Remember, you're in a spiritual battle. Yes, God does take vengeance for the Christian believer. But remember, it is not them that is your war against. It's the one who they serve. They serve Satan. They're under his bondage. They're under his will. A question was asked to me. Would you get mad at a person who is blind, deaf, and is dead and that person steps on your toe this is the people of the world they're blind they're deaf and they're dead this is the way the scripture describes them when they step on your toe when they get on your nerve leave the thing with God let God take care of them not you if anything pray for them Pray that God will put his hand upon them. Or pray that God will bless them. In so doing, you're doing what the scripture says. The scripture tells us to pray for our enemies. I know it's hard. The Bible tells us in Matthew 5 verse 44. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. How am I supposed to pray for them? Pray for their salvation if they're not saved. But pray for them. But don't hate them. And leave the vengeance to God. In verse 44 of chapter 5 of Matthew says, That you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his Son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward you have? Do not even the tax collector do the same. We're called to be different from the world. We're called 
to be children of light. And like children of light, this is the way, as a Christian, we should act. Leave the vengeance to God. In your part, love them. And when the word says to love them, it speaks of agape, divine, unconditional love. 